This will be a review on the 3.5 inch TFT LCD rear view mirror car DVR. So let's start unboxing this thing. We open the box and see the DVR itself. It looks quite slick, it has some good colors to it, and uh, it's very modern and it looks great in any vehicle. And it's super lightweight as well. Inside there's also a car adapter and a USB cable. And we'll get to those and what those are used for later on in the video. The main attraction to this product is the dual cameras located on the bottom of the DVR. They're very easy to spin and can be rotated up to 180 degrees in opposite directions. Uh, on top of that, there is a port for the USB cable and another port for the car adapter charger. On the right hand side, there's an SD card slot and an HDMI slot. To now let's turn this thing on. As you can see, the camera's display has two different screens. You can see my face right here. So let's go over to the buttons. There's a zoom function. Pressing the up button would zoom in to a maximum of four times zoom. Pressing the down button would make the camera zoom out. To turn off the device, you hold the on off button. Menu slash record button will record a video if you press it. Again, we have no memory card to demonstrate this, but you get the idea. By holding the button, you will be introduced to many video functions of the camera. This includes white balance, where you can change the color of your shot. The function is very similar to that of an ordinary camera. You can navigate the menu using the up and down buttons, and holding the button again will give you another menu, this time involving setup. Here you can change the date and time if you so wish to do so. You can also remove the beeping sound that the device emits when you press a button. There are about 10 different languages to choose from. Let's choose Japanese and just to give you an idea of how that looks. And you can see that the menu changes language. Very cool. So, these are just a few of the things you can do here, but if you're unhappy with your settings, you can always just restore the original settings, so that's good. Finally, there's a TV mode that allows you to switch from NTC, North American Standards, to PAL, which is the European Standards. So, let's check this thing out in the car, shall we? The car adapter goes in where it should with the car adapter port, and then you just plug in the other side into the car DVR. Now the device is always charging and always powered while you're on the road. Now that it's all set up, you can adjust the cameras so that they show your blind spots, or wherever you want to point them really, and this really helps on safety. Um, being attached to your car mirror, it serves well as a mirror too, has a very glossy surface, it's very clear and very safe as well, um, which is great to see. So let's take it for a test ride. We've placed the camera on the right hand side. And you can see on the display, the camera tracks the footage of our ride perfectly. So don't forget to click the link in the video description below to check out this great car DVR product and many others now available at gadgetsfactory.com. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. That allows you to check out some other great videos and to win some really cool prizes as well. Thanks for watching.